How much of the ocean has been explored? Shockingly little. Why has so little of the ocean been explored? Abysses make up about 71% of Earth's face. They are immensely important to the health of Earth and those of us who inhabit it. There are five main abysses the Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean and Southern Ocean, so when we say the world's ocean, or the ocean, we're pertaining to all these ocean basins together. The ocean drives rainfall patterns, regulates temperature and eventually supports all living organisms. It's been a vital source of food, transportation and commerce throughout history. Yet, just 5% of the global ocean has been explored and lower than 10% has been counterplotted using ultramodern sonar technology. However, also why has so important of the ocean's wild frontier been left unmapped, unobserved and unexplored? If we can shoot satellites millions of long hauls into space, well, it's complicated. Why has so little of the ocean been explored? First, there is a lot further to the ocean than meets the eye. We have always been suitable to explore the ocean's face, but we have only just started looking into the ocean depths and ocean bottoms within the once many decades. Satellites have helped us chart the ocean's face temperatures, waters and colors, which can indicate factory life. More advanced technology is demanded to dig deeper, so to speak. Submarines and sonars have helped with that. But when you reach the deep ocean about 650 bases, 200 measures, or further below the water's face, you leave the so-called sun zone and enter complete darkness. At these great depths, you lose all visibility. It's also extremely cold and the pressure is body crushing. For perspective, at ocean position, the pressure on your body is about 15 pounds per forecourt inch, 103.42 kilopascals. Still, your body pressure decreases to zero if you float above Earth's atmosphere into space. But if you drop deep into the ocean's depths, that pressure increases the deeper you go. However, about seven long hauls, 11, if you were to go to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean point two kilometers deep, you would feel about 000 times further pressure than what you would feel on the face or the fellow of about 50 jumbo spurts pressing down on your body. As you can see, deep ocean disquisition is tough, but there's still hope to learn further. Agencies similar as the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, are leading sweats in ocean disquisition by supporting peregrinations to probe and validate unknown and little given regions. It's delicate to cover our ocean if we know so little about it. And there are numerous reasons why we should cover it. The ocean produces further than half of the world's oxygen. It also helps regulate rainfall patterns, provides food and drug and bolsters trade among nations around the globe. Now that's sad. Oceans on Earth are dealing with some major problems. Pollution from oil spills, trash, and inappropriate disposal by manufacturing industries is one of the main hazards. In reality, investigators were startled to discover a pile of rubbish in the literal depths of the ocean during a 2019 excursion to the Emden Deep in the Philippine Trench, the third deepest area of the ocean. If you found this video helpful, please like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any future videos with related content. Thanks a lot.